Chapter 5 Acids, Bases and Salts Introduction We use in our daily life a large number of substances such as lemon, tamarind, common salt, sugar and vinegar. Do they have the same taste? Let us recall tastes of some edible substances. Lemon juice, orange juice, vinegar, curd, tamarind that is imli are sour in taste. Sugar is sweet, common salt is salty, amla is sour, baking soda is bitter, grapes are sweet, unripe mango is sour. You will find some of these substances taste sour, some taste bitter, some taste sweet, and some taste salty. Acids and bases Curd, lemon juice, orange juice, and vinegar taste sour. These substances taste sour because they contain acids. The chemical nature of such substances is acidic. The word acid comes from the Latin word acia, which means sour. The acids in these substances are natural acids. What about baking soda? Does it also taste sour? If not, what is its taste? Since it does not taste sour, it means that it has no acids in it. It is bitter in taste. If you rub its solution between fingers, it feels soapy. Substances like these which are bitter in taste and feel soapy on touching are known as bases. The nature of such substances is said to be basic. If we cannot taste every substance, how do we find its nature? Special type of substances are used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic. These substances are known as indicators. The indicators change their color when added to a solution containing an acidic or a basic substance. Turmeric, litmus, china rose petals, that is, goodhull, etc., are some of the naturally occurring indicators. के सारे chapters इस format में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें description में दिए गए number पर call करें. Do you know, acetic acid is found in vinegar, formic acid in ants' sting, citric acid in citrus fruits, such as oranges, lemons, etc. Lactic acid is found in curd, oxalic acid in spinach, ascorbic acid, that is vitamin C, in amla and citrus fruits, tartaric acid in tamarind, grapes, unripe mangoes, etc. All the above mentioned acids occur in nature. Name of the base. Calcium hydroxide is found in lime water. Ammonium hydroxide is found in window cleaner. Students, be cautious. We should not taste unknown substances. They could harm us. Natural indicators around us. Litmus, a natural dye. The most commonly used natural indicator is litmus. It is extracted from lichens. It has a mauve, that is purple color, in distilled water. When added to an acidic solution, it turns red. And when added to a basic solution, it turns blue. It is available in the form of a solution or in the form of strip. If you want to see all the chapters in chapters this format, then call us in the number description. Activity 1 Mix up some water with lemon juice in a test tube.
put a drop of the above solution on a strip of the red litmus paper with the help of a dropper. Is there any change in color? Repeat the same exercise with the blue litmus paper. Note down if there is any change in color. Perform the same activity with the following substances. Tap water, detergent solution, aerated drink, soap solution, shampoo, common salt solution, sugar solution, vinegar, baking soda solution, milk of magnesia, washing soda solution, lime water. If possible, make solutions in distilled water. Record your observations as in table. When the test solution is tap water, there is no change on the red and blue litmus paper. Inference, it is neutral. With detergent solution, the red litmus paper turns blue, but there is no change on the blue litmus paper. Inference, it is basic. There is no change in the red litmus paper with an aerated drink, but the blue litmus paper turns red. Inference, aerated drink is acidic. With soap solution, the red litmus paper turns blue, but there is no change in the blue litmus paper. Thus, soap solution is basic. With shampoo, there is no change on the red litmus paper, while the blue litmus paper turns red. So, shampoo is acidic. With common salt solution, there is no change in either the red or the blue litmus paper. Means it is neutral. With sugar solution also, there is no change in the red or blue litmus paper. So, it is neutral. With vinegar, there is no change on the red litmus paper while the blue litmus paper turns red. Thus, it is acidic. With baking soda solution, red litmus paper turns blue while there is no change on the blue litmus paper. Thus, it is basic. With milk of magnesia, the red litmus paper turns blue while there is no change on the blue litmus paper. Thus, it is basic. With washing soda solution, the red litmus paper turns blue while there is no change on the blue litmus paper. Thus, the solution is basic. With lime water, there is no change on the red litmus paper while the blue litmus paper turns red. Thus, it is acidic in nature. In your table, are there any substances on which litmus has no effect? Name those substances. The solutions which do not change the color of either red or blue litmus are known as neutral solutions. These substances are neither acidic nor basic. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें